Okay. Well, no, I did not drop my bike. I set it off to the side. You can actually easily do this, especially if you have crash bars. Uh, no big deal. I've done this plenty of times, especially when it comes to uh, changing out, you know, uh, clutch gaskets for the housing. And also, when I was doing my clutch inspection, and uh, um, you know, also in the past when it came to uh, swapping out clutch plates and cleaning all that stuff up. So, um, fairly easy. I set something on the side, usually like a really thick blanket, and then uh, just take your time, carefully, carefully lower it down, and uh, you're pretty much good to go. So, anyways. The real reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want to dip my oil and I'm uh, swapping something out. So in the past I've gotten, you know, uh, pieces specifically for this oil filter housing right here. Uh, I mean, I think I've purchased maybe three of those things and for whatever reason they're always the wrong size. <clears throat> it always says that it's meant for the 390, but I'm thinking that the ones that I'm getting are just like the 320, or sorry, the 200 ones. And uh, I think those are smaller. Oh, look at this little guy. Hey buddy, what are you doing up there? You're looking real nervous. I hope you don't get sucked into my bike. Anyways, uh, so what I have is another unit that I ordered. Finally came in from AliExpress. So. Pretty nice little unit, but the one thing I will say, so the the quality of the aluminum seems pretty nice. I don't know, I'm not really a fan of the wording that's on here, but it looks nice. It looks pretty good on the inside. Uh, does not come with an O-ring, so keep that in mind. I actually changed mine not too long ago, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm just going to reuse it. <clears throat> uh, the one thing I will say that I'm not a fan of is this uh, acrylic is, I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of scratched up. And for being a brand new unit, not a fan of that. Uh, you would think that a brand new part like this, it would just be nice. I suspect it's probably just sitting on an assembly line, uh, you know, being pushed through and I imagine they just kind of rubbing against each other and getting all jacked up so not a fan of that so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and pop this bad boy off <sighs> always be careful when you're doing these these are uh, they only require eight foot pounds of torque and the uh, metal on these these motors are kind of made out of Swiss cheese so just be very careful. Now, let's take a bet whether oil is going to leak out of this thing or not. Not 100% sure. I probably should have grabbed a rag. Didn't really think of that beforehand. Uh, what do I got near me? Oh, this will do. Excellent. So, let's go ahead and just pop this cover off. Not bad. Still looks like 300V to me. Uh, yep, yep. Okay, well, I'm gonna set this down for a sec. You get a view of quite literally nothing. You're welcome. I'll go ahead and swap this O ring over real fast. <clears throat> I'm just using a pick tool. Just be careful you don't mess up your seal. So, seals in place, comparing the two, if we take a look, side by side, hmm. what's interesting is, well I guess it's because the bolstering is a little bigger, yeah, it's about the same height, let's see, as you can see this is slotted, 
Yeah. So, all right, well, let's get it on here. Oh, I didn't, uh, I guess the ring didn't, doesn't really need to be moved up too much, but if you have a new O-ring, I would consider it. That way you can hopefully not shred your O-ring. Okay, fits quite nicely. Let's see how these line up. Okay, all right, I'm liking it so far. Go ahead and get these finger tight. Okay. Now, I'm not going to use a torque wrench because I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not overly concerned about it because um, this is an, it's an O-ring section, so really you're just doing it enough to hold the plate in place and that's it. All the sealing is done by the O-ring. And voila, that's how she looks. Let's do that. All right, I'm liking it. This will have an added benefit too because um, anytime there is a, let's say a, uh, a coolant leak of some sort and um, it'll give you like a nice little picture or window that I can look inside and see if there's any uh, coolant leaking by. An example of this would be like your uh, water pump seal. so. Um, this is kind of a low part in the motor, so I could see where that would be, but that's pretty much it. Um, let me get the motor cycle back up, and then we'll see what the oil looks like with this all the way up. Okay, let's see. All right, that's what it looks like. That's actually really cool. I started the bike for a little bit. I imagine once you kind of get it going, it uh, fills it out some more. So. Yeah, not bad. Uh, 20 bucks, AliExpress. So, if you order it now, I'm sure you'll have it in like two months. But, uh, I'm pretty pleased with that. It's good. Alright, that's it. If you have any more questions, let me know.